<laughs> yeah. spring cleaning today and I figured since I'm here at my parents house and I got time to kill not only am I gonna do laundry wash the bedding all my sheets my duvet cover my pillowcases well I also thought since I'm doing that it might be kind of fun to pull the mattress out and give you a little bit more of an behind-the-scenes look at what's going on with the build underneath the bed Now this is a bit of a tricky maneuver trying to pull the mattress out here. See if we can do it without too much trouble. There we go. There we go. Oh, there's a little handle on the side here. All right, so here we are inside my van. I pulled the mattress out so you can see a bit more of what the original build looks like. I've rarely seen this myself. Pretty interesting, pretty simple construction. Just slats of wood going across with room to breathe so there's no weird moisture buildup or any of that stuff. A lot of ventilation. And as you can see underneath, plenty of room for storage. Now, there are a few things underneath of here which I wanna get rid of. I've been adding slowly more and more of these crates. I got one, two, three, four of them. Probably like to get a fifth, sixth, seventh of them. Hey, what is that? Well, that's the rod that used to be across the back there. I took down that curtain, but I like to save things. So this has just been kind of floating right here. As you can see here, lots of storage room. And then I built this shelf, of course to accommodate all my clothes storage. So I don't have just a bunch of mismatched stuff going down here for clothes. All my stuff that I get at the ready is all up here and in the first row of crates. Got my bucket under here. Easy to grab whenever I need it. Under the back, I keep a lot of my camping supplies. Back here, chairs, tablecloth, whatnot. 
you know, extra stuff back here, coolant should I need it, blankets, and a lot of other random stuff. I don't even know what some of this is. More books. Got a lot of books here, I know. I want to move this container out of here and put it up on top of the roof right there. Now I did attempt this once before and it didn't go as I had planned. I think I got the footage here. The top just started flapping about in the wind. So I think I'm gonna just mount it upside down and then strap it down so the lid's not gonna go anywhere. Gotta pull all this stuff out first. Of course, all my camping stuff here. Still haven't gotten a chance to make use of the sidewall I have. This is what I want to get rid of. I mean, in here is all my Christmas supplies, other stuff, wallpaper, long underwear, electric blanket, things I'm not gonna, things I'm not gonna need for quite a while. So instead of just taking up room under here, since I have the available space on the roof, I figured I might as well put it up there, just like this. And then I'll strap that down here in a little bit. So in the past, I've mentioned many times, quite often I mention to people, especially when they invite me into their homes to use their guest room or what have you, when I'm parked up at their house, I say, well, <laughs> I appreciate that, but honestly, my bed here, queen size mattress, the most comfortable I've ever slept on. And I'm trying to find the label here to tell you exactly what kind it is, because people have asked me, and I don't know where it is. I've seen it before. Let's see what it says here. It's Ikea. It is an Ikea bed. I don't know what the specific make and model is, but if you can read that, it says there. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, there it is. Here you go. Haugsund. Ikea. Yeah. 